Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, uh, Aaron with Fleet Statistics here today to talk to you about a kind of a unique service that we don't talk about that much. Uh, it's the next generation of this service that was kind of the precursor to fleet tracking. And for those of you that have been around as long as I have, you remember back in the day, uh, there, were, there were really two things. One of them you probably never heard of, which was called a tachograph and it actually was a box that attached to a vehicle and inside of that box was a paper card with a little pen, kind of like what you would see on an earthquake uh, registry. You know, when it would shake, it would actually scratch the card and, and mark the card. So when the vehicle was driven, it would scratch and you would know, hey, it was scratching for an hour from 9 a.m. to you know, uh, 10 a.m. and you know the vehicle's moving. So that was the original, uh, very su super simplistic way of determining motion, right? And apparently uh, there were tens of thousands of those things sold over the years. The other technology that uh, was utilized back then was 1-800-HOWS-MY-DRIVING, uh, the, the original How's My Driving program, right? And, uh, you know, people have decals on their vehicles and they had a call center and, you know, everybody would uh, get those decals, sign up for service, just the same way they basically sign up for, you know, tracking technology services today except when people call that number, they called the call center, they documented the information, they called the business owner and said, hey, you know, so-and-so has reported that your vehicle did A, B, and C, and you should probably do something about it, right? And that technology kind of fell off, but, you know, uh, what we realized uh, through some conversation with one of our government customers is that there is an application for that. And you have to ask, well, why? That's, you know, that's an older technology or an older way of doing things. Well, the reality is that no matter what electronic device you slap on a vehicle, except maybe for a camera, right, which is an ex more expensive investment. Uh, and a lot of times people get dash cams that only, uh, you know, look out. They don't look in uh, for whatever reason that uh, GPS tracking is certainly not going to tell you if your driver's flicking somebody off, is throwing trash out the window, is you know perhaps using their cell phone while they're driving, uh, driving erratically, driving drunk, speeding, weaving in and out of traffic, whatever those things are. But everybody on the road that's looking at your company van with your brand on the side and seeing some unwanted or undesirable behavior is more than willing to pick up the phone and call and say, hey, guess what? You know, your guy was sleeping in the parking lot. And I don't know if we actually have an example of that picture. Let me see if we have it on this web page. We do not. But um, uh, I actually have a picture of a city worker here in Tampa. And this was years ago. So hopefully, you know, the mayor is not going to go looking for somebody. But uh, I guess it was their break, and there they were in a big, like utility type size truck, and they were working in a park, and they were sleeping in the front seat on the, uh, you know, which was off the main road, and all you could see was their feet hanging out the open door because they were too long to, you know, to uh, lay down on the front bench seat without having the door open. All they had to do was actually open the door on the other side. And nobody would have ever known, would have never got a picture. But the perception of what was going on was a city worker being lazy and sleeping on the job. It, it may have been his nap time. I don't know. But the perception is the problem, right? So uh, we went and we said, oh, how can we improve the How's My Driving program? And uh, in talking to our government customer, they said, well, the problem with that technology is, you know, about 35% of the time, our driver says he was never there. Right. And how do they prove that they, he was never there? Well, somehow they got the decal number of the vehicle and, you know, called this thing in. So about 30 percent of the time, someone's not telling the truth, in my opinion. But, um, you know, you can't do anything about it. They just wasn't me. Must have got a digit wrong somewhere. Wasn't me. I was over here, you know. Uh, so what we did was, A, we wanted to eliminate the need for a call center and the cost of that program and the people and all that stuff. Uh, and then number two is we wanted to match the reports to the telematics technology, the GPS tracking technology that our customers are already using. So 
when someone calls our drive tracks program, and that's the name of it, it's named drive tracks. When someone calls drive tracks and says, Hey, I've, I'm observing somebody doing A, B, and C, we actually time date stamp that in addition to time date stamp their GPS information. And we bring those two things together and we allow customers to verify that the vehicle was in the area at the time of the report. So now the driver can't say, hey, I wasn't there, right? So uh, we send an email to the customer that has a link in it that says, you know, drive tracks violation reported and uh, at this day and time, click here to listen to the message and then click here to view the map, right? So they, it actually opens up in one of the web-based mapping programs and plots it on the map form. And that combination eliminates a lot of the discussion about, you know, hey, it wasn't me, right? So uh, when somebody calls drive, track, drive tracks, it, they get an automated system. And, it's, you know, it's press one for speeding, press two for distracted driving, press three for an accident, whatever those things are. And so you run through that. And then uh, you have an option to uh, please leave a message describing the situation. Uh, that is highly important to understand uh, in detail exactly what was going on and how well this person observed this behavior, right? You know, if they got into a verbal altercation, they're going to tell that to you. If they saw them throw the McDonald's bag out the window, they're going to tell very specific information that's going to help you make better decisions about uh, the information that's being reported, right? You can also hear the conviction in somebody's voice very well if it's, you know, if it's sounds like they don't care or they're just not involved, you're going to take that less seriously. But if someone's highly excited and agitated and it's like, oh my God, I almost hit a, a you know, he was on his phone and almost hit a, a mom with a baby crossing the road. I can't believe this. You need to do something about, you know, that's probably a legitimate uh, observation. Yeah, I saw your driver. He was on his cell phone and uh, was drifting out of the lanes because he was uh, on his phone uh, going down the road. So you might want to talk to him about it. So, uh, and then, as I said, that information gets stored in our portal, our My Fleet Systems portal, and users can go into the portal and take a look at the information in a dashboard that we've created based on the different types of incidents that get reported. Uh, the Drive Tracks program, in addition to the GPS tracking and telematics technology, is a very small additional fee to be able to protect your brand and gain insight on things that are otherwise, you know, just things that you can't see and know and understand because there's no additional visibility on those things. And we give you the mechanism for validation. Now, you can use Drive Tracks without the GPS tracking and telematics, but you know, why would you, you know, it's there for you, um, you know, theoretically, even if you're with somebody else and like another telematics provider and you want to use drive tracks, we can get an API from the other uh, provider and we can still put you on the drive tracks program and use their GPS data uh, to, you know, to validate that information. And our goal is really to help fleet managers do their job and most importantly, be safe on the road. Number two would be protecting the brand of the organization and then uh, making sure that the drivers are also protected from false claims. Uh, you can see the uh, URL here. We'll also put it down in the show notes. Uh, but oh, hey, if you are enjoying the videos, uh, please like the video and subscribe. We've got a whole series of these types of things coming out. I'm really, what I'm doing is just sharing my 20 plus years of experience in GPS tracking and telematics and pointing out things that are practical from your perspective, because I've been on the other side. I mean, I ran uh, a service business. I did branch management, sales management, service management. Uh, I implemented GPS technology and I introduced uh, routing to, again, this national pest control company. So I was involved in all of that. So I understand from your perspective and from talking to so many customers over the years, what the challenges are. So trying to give you things that you can then take for action on your side, not just give you, <coughs> excuse me, give you the sales pitch want to give you the practical understanding of why something is going to benefit your organization and you know when should you make that investment when should you not it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter to me you're you're out there trying to fight your way through business every day it's a competitive market space i don't care what business you're in uh it's competitive so 
Uh, you can see some of the things here. Let me see if I click on that, make it a little bit larger for you to see. How many instances did you have? You know, uh, if you've got five vehicles, you say, oh, I've only got five vehicles. I need to track my vehicles. I only got, I don't need drive tracks in my five vehicles. Well, if you have one vehicle out of five that are not productive, you've got 20% of your workforce that's inefficient, right? Just because you have 5,000 vehicles and you've got 5% of your workforce, you may not see that number. You know, you may not feel it, but it's still affecting your, your overall profitability, right? So um, it, big or small, doesn't matter. It's all about efficiency, safety, productivity, profitability, uh, you know, those types of things. Um, so if, you know, we can do anything for you, obviously reach out to us. Uh, hopefully, you know, whether you go and look at drive tracks or anything else, just understand that there's multiple layers of technology to provide uh, protection and information for your business. It might be something as simple as drive tracks. It could be GPS tracking. It could be telematics. It could be dash cams. It could be routing. It could be uh, maintenance integration. All of those different things, that continuum of technology is what uh, most companies are looking at to continue to drive the efficiency to do more with less. So thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.